Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Monday the 28th of August. 2023. 2023. We are sitting in, we're sitting outside the Waterfront Cafe in Anstruther. So this is going to be our review of the Waterfront Cafe Anstruther. Okay, <laughs> come along with us. We are um, off to Barcelona tomorrow. So we're, oh yeah. So we're going to go and stay in Edinburgh tonight, do a bit of shopping. We've got to shim, to shim. <laughs> Boot for dinner tonight, which is really exciting. Just ordered a hot chocolate, you've ordered a latte. There's no syrups here for coffees, which is weird considering, like you said, it's just 2023. It's just a norm now, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, these are views. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Just got paid. <laughs> There's a song in there somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, this is it. Lovely, it's nice and cool just now. Well, we do a little outfit of the day because my outfit's really fun and yeah. Lucy really likes it. I think you look absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that's so, so nice. Go I actually on, said to Lucy today, I actually feel quite nice, which is really uncommon at the moment, isn't mm, it? Right. Anyway, let's do a little outfit of the day. And we're on. Right. And action. So I've got my maternity dungarees. Lovely. Love the Love bus them. going by. <laughs> um, maternity dungarees. I've got my new balance trainers on. A white new look t shirt with cute little frills at the side. And my little Adidas bag from ASOS, I think. And my little Gucci sunglasses. I think I'm going to buy new sunglasses for my holidays today. Because you don't have enough. In Harvey Nicks. <laughs> if you can see Lisa's face right now. Hot chocolate is here. Look at this. Whipped cream. I think there's marshmallows in there. We've got a little bit of shortbread as well, haven't we? Yeah, it's a latte to take in, and I've got a latte. <laughs> Cheers, darling. Mmm. Piping hot. Lovely. Oh. Delicious. I'm happy. I think I've got it all over my face. Yep. Mm -hmm. Confirmed. That, coffee, that hot chocolate, delicious. How's your coffee? Very nice, yeah. yeah. Very good, very nice. Um, yeah, just gonna get in the car soon. Head to the capital city. Go shopping. Shops. Shops. Right, we are on the bridge almost, just approaching the fourth road bridge. Is that what it, this one's called? Queen's Ferry Crossing. Queen's Ferry Crossing. You will see the fourth road over to your left. <laughs> oh, traffic have we? This is when you know we're, you're near Edinburgh. And then there's the rail bridge and then the old road bridge. The fourth road bridge. Here we go. But the buses in the Larry still go over there, as you can see, there's a bus right now. Oh, yeah. We've come to a McDonald's on St Andrews Street. Right, we've got a better table now. We're both sitting together. Um, what have you got? Oh, you've, hot. you've got the quarter. Oh, your chips are hot. Mm -hmm. I've got, got the double quarter pound of a barbecue. Yeah. Oh, my burger has cheese on it. Make sure the good yours. I'm not really into chicken and cheese. And then we're gonna try the strawberry lemonade. We watched a couple called Tom and Elle. I don't know if you guys watch them. They're from Yorkshire. Yorkshire, yeah, on YouTube. They're great and they have a Florida series and they go on holiday and stuff. It's great. Anyway, they had this in their vlog last night. So I made you try it. Oh, oh the sour thing. It's very sour. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very sour. <laughs> I'm going to try it a bit further up. Can't have McDonald's mm. without sweet curry sauce. It's very sour, you're right. Tasty though. It's more like a... Yeah, it's like a pudding drink, is it really? Here's a double quarter pounder. You've got all those gherkins. Just two little ones in there. I don't think you can eat a beef burger without a gherkin. No. Look at that. Bacon, cheese. Salad. 
doing a great bit, John. It's strange to be here and not get a fight, though. Like, I'm all for all the cheese sites that I do, but in popular opinion, I don't like garlic. <laughs> um, we're saving ourselves for dinner tonight. Am I alone? Am I the only one that doesn't like garlic? Yeah. It's a weird thing not to like. <laughs> I put it in everything I cook, but I just can't eat like garlic bread or garlic bites or anything. It makes me feel sick. So. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're going to finish up McDonald's here and we'll join you for shopping. Mm -hmm. That was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Oh, I've got brain freeze. Yeah. It's funny because we come to all the way to Edinburgh and have McDonald's, which we can have at home, but we both did get stuff that we never get. Yeah. And also, we just wanted something quick and easy. We didn't want to sit down meal no. in a restaurant that would take forever. So. And we've got a great view, door. don't we? Mm -hmm. We're just sitting here, people watching, and that's Prince's Street there, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. We're doing well. <laughs> It's an absolute scorcher in Edinburgh. <laughs> Doesn't look it, but it's bloody roasting. I cut my fringe yesterday. So did I. <laughs> Are you wanting your jumper off? Do you want to do that now? Might as well. Yeah, yeah that's stop. We've been to Primark and. You go to the site. What else? Oh, we went to Boots so Luce could get essentials for, you know, little mini essentials. Miniatures, because we don't have any um, checked luggage. So we're just putting little things in my hand luggage. Yeah, little under 100 mils. And then we went to Ben's Cookies, didn't we? We did. I reminded Can't come Lewis. to Edinburgh and not have Ben's Cookies. Up <laughs> so thank you for that day. It was a good show. That's a great breakfast tomorrow, probably. Yeah, I think we're going to save them for breakfast at the airport. Otherwise, it'll be 25 quid in the airport for our airport break in. Why do that when you could pay £4.40 for two Ben's Cookies? Exactly. No brainer. <laughs> um, we're just heading into Harvey next. We're going to go and try on some sunglasses. Obviously, I was desperate to go. <laughs> Holiday treat from me to me. Right, so here we have Celine. It's really hard to. <laughs> oh. Over the top. Are we okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, they're actually so nice, aren't they? Bloody hell. Oh, they've got them in black. I don't know if black's more me. Yeah, I like the black ones, do you? Mm -hmm. We'll keep looking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're so nice. Any others here? Just seen a girl waiting then, that's why. Yeah. Uh, Chloe, they're huge, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> they are. Let's keep wandering around. Okay. Are they the same, the ones on the top there? Yeah, then. Are they both the same? What make are they? These are Chloe. You can see your eyes like totally through them. I don't <laughs> know if they're for me, are they? Do you like no, them? No, they're not for you, no. How much are they? Here are Balenciagas. 305 Pitbull. 305. I just know how practical they are. It's really hard to see what they're going to look like. Because my eyeballs are actually bigger than them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you have another pair like that? Green ones? That... Also, I've said on this channel before that I love Bottega's green. I actually have Bottega green sunglasses. Imagine everything you could see was green. <laughs> They're actually really nice, but I've got my um, Tommy Hilfiger ones, they're quite similar. Yeah. And everything's green in them as well. You've got enough green. How much are they? 300. Oh, just under a bit though. <laughs> I do like the bee bit. Like the actual Balenciaga bit is nice. Right, I'm just in H&M. Um, so in Harvey Nicks it was between a pair of Celine and a pair of Christian Dior sunglasses but I just couldn't make up my mind so I've just left it to think about it but um, I've just noticed in the new St James's Quarter there's a sunglasses hat so I'm gonna have a look in there but yeah just looking at H&M baby girl clothes because the baby girl clothes in H&M is my favourite place look at all this <laughs> 
How cute is that? It's the frills at the bottom. Love that, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. And we actually ordered this, didn't we? Yeah. But in trousers. That's so nice. How nice the H&M clothes, I was saying. Buzzing with them, yeah. They're better online though, aren't they? Yeah, it's the same with the shops though. Everything oh. seems to be better online. I love that. Just in general, even for our clothes. We got that already, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's the ears on it. We've got all these little ears, which is adorable. Anyway, sunglasses hat? No. Oh, I was recommended these. The wrap ones because they're so much easier. Do you want me to model them? If yeah, if you just... <laughs> <laughs> so the shop in here at St. James's Quarter is so good. And uh, we've actually got a big Harrods Beauty here. But I'm hoping that I'm going to go and get my sunglasses. And then I won't want to spend any money on makeup. I've actually never been one for loving to buy clothes. But even since I've been pregnant, I've hated it even more, haven't I? You have. So I haven't. Which is great for our I haven't even been into Zara since I was probably about 16 weeks pregnant. Like I just don't go in at all because I hate it all. But I'm still into makeup and sunglasses. So let's go and see what um, Sunglasses Hut has to offer. Actually, I'm just going to say, whilst I'm here, I did five weeks of nights in a row, didn't I? Yeah, you earned a lot. I earned, yeah. So I'm going to. That's why I'm treating myself to sunglasses. Because if you've been on this channel a long time, you'll know I absolutely despise nights. So I'm going to treat myself with the little extra money I earned over those five weeks. That keeps you going back to the night shifts, doesn't it? Yeah, I know. We're exhausted, aren't we? <laughs> We've come back to the car just to chill. Day one of holiday and we're absolutely full of energy. As you can see, it's 4 p.m. <laughs> We're both floored. It is nap time though. It is oh. about nap time to be fair. And we're not napping. We're siesta. Siesta. We have been to Sunglasses Hut, but it wasn't successful. There wasn't even like one nice pair that I even put on and was like, ooh, like, no. So we are going to go, just been in Harrods Beauty, just had a wee wander there. You did Bershka, Pull&Bear next. Yep, and got absolutely nothing. So that was great. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're going to go up to lane 7. They've got this basketball game that we used to play, didn't we? Yep, shoot the and hoops. we just shoot the hoops. So we're going to go and do that. And then we'll go and purchase the sunglasses. I'm really feeling the Christian Dior ones. Mm -hmm. Where are you? The more expensive you get, that gives me a higher budget for what I want later on. So You're going on you a golf do holiday. You. you can't keep saying that. Yeah, then we'll head to Dishoom later. Dishoom. Dishoom. Right, we're in lane 7. Right. Look how fun that disco ball is. <laughs> They've got a Boris bowling ball behind the bar. Can you see it? A Boris bowling ball? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and a sturgeon one as well for the ball. We, Lewis has gone cola. I've gone for a raspberry nojito. And there's the kissing booth that I was talking about. And then... <laughs> Here's the basketball thing. Yeah, so we're gonna go and do this for a while, aren't we? All right, let's go give it a whirl. I'll beat ya. We'll see. Come on then. Lucy says 19, mine says 31, but you actually think you did better than that? Definitely. Will we try this one? We'll do these two. Yeah.
This actually just did so good. He just got 47, but like you literally missed like three or something. Didn't really miss much. That, that was so good. I still didn't get the bonus. You yeah. have to get 50 points for a bonus round. Oh. So I got 30, but I felt that was so rubbish. What did so I get the first time? 42? 37 or something, is it? But I will say, I made a conscious effort to look at the score that time. Uh, there was at least five you got in that you didn't get a score uh, for. So and you get, like, got, you get two or three points per time you get it in, so. So I probably got about 35, but that means that you probably got about 50. Yeah, <laughs> so you would have got at least 45, definitely. Uh, you win. Oh guys, guess what happened, right? Went back into Harvey Nicks for either Christian Dior or the Celine ones, and they were both very different. But then, past Gucci on the way in, and they actually had a combination of the Celine glasses and the Christian Dior. They had like the shape of the Christian Dior, but the sides of the Celine, which I really liked. And we got such a bargain, considering how much I was gonna spend on the Dior ones. So I'm so, I was so chuffed. I can't believe it. And then I got to choose the green, purple, red or black sunglasses case. Guess what colour she went for? I went green, obviously. To put it in a Gucci bag is crazy. I thought it would just be Harvey Nicks. I don't know who I think I am. I'm cutting about with this <laughs> Gucci bag. Oh, I'm just so happy. Hard work pays off, guys. And then. We're off to Dishim now to eat Indian. And the good news is the money she was going to spend on the more expensive glasses, she's buying my dinner. So. No, she's not. You're getting my dinner. I'm pregnant. <laughs> right, you're probably not able to see very well, but we're downstairs in Dishim, like right in the basement in the bar. It's actually so sweet. I've ordered a passion fruit drink with lime, soda and coriander. The thing is that we love going to sit in Woohoo, let's go. Mm -hmm. Hi! Right. right, I was saying, and then our buzzer went off, that we just love Indian restaurants. Like, we love, like, coming and, um... Oh, that's fine. Thank you. It's orange one, red chili. Yeah. Green one, mint and coriander. The black one, dates and tamales. Lovely, thank you. Um, service has been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah, we just love the Indians, like how old-fashioned they are and how cute and cozy and romantic they are, but this has like got a modern spin on it, doesn't it? It's really cool. Um, yeah, just waiting for our food to come now. I'm so excited. This is amazing. So good. And their bloody, is it a Bloody Mary? Their Bloody Marys here are amazing. It's like a normal one with like Indian spices in it. So good with the breakfast menu. What about here? So we've got chili chicken, the pau bhaji, which is like mashed up vegetable and brioche buns. And then we've got house chat, which is like fried, it's, I think it's fried sweet potatoes with yogurt and mint sauce and stuff. I'm going for it with the chili chicken. He said that this was quite spicy if you like spicy. Is it spicy? Just all the green chilies on it. It looks so good. And if you have a tingle in the throat. Does it? Yeah, it really tastes amazing. Oh. So good, you're gonna love it. Let's see. How is it? Amazing. Yeah, he's half the bun. Oh, the bun is toasted. It's so nice and warm. And that's nice and hot as well. Is it? Mm. This is so good. And this has always been my favourite thing. <laughs> Minty yogurt fried potatoes. I'm 
amazing. Right, so mains have arrived. We've just got some basmati rice. We've got the chicken ruby curry. And then we've got the gunpowder potatoes, which have got like coriander, spring onion. I think that's yogurt, more lime. Looks good, doesn't it, Liz? Unreal. We've had this before, this is our usual. Potatoes were amazing. That chili chicken, I cannot recommend enough. And that was really nice with the bread. All goes so well together, don't they? <laughs> right, this is my setup. I've got the chicken ruby, the potatoes, some of the sauces from there. Enjoying it, Lewis. Absolutely amazing. I'm gonna try this chicken ruby. <laughs> It's quite creamy, isn't it? Like a, almost like a, it's a people pleaser. Yeah. That's oh, please me. <laughs> a bit like a chicken tikka masala almost. Oh, that's so nice. Uh -huh. Nothing too fancy, but still tastes incredible. Loads of spice, like flavor, loads of flavor in there. And then the gunpowder potatoes, do you like them? Yeah. I'm gonna dip them in some of the sauce. Wow. How can they make a boiled potato taste so amazing? <laughs> Incredible guys, mains are still so good. Yum. Right, dinner was excellent. I'll fill you in when we leave because it's I feel like it's so loud in here. It's maybe not. Anyway, I've ordered instead of having food in, I've gone a chocolate chai and I'm not sure how I feel about chai. I'm not into tea. All you can this, do is give it a chai. I'm just gonna give it a chai. Oh yeah, it's a hot chocolate with spices, as he described. Mm -mm -mm. And it's not overly because it's dark chocolate with the spices. They kind of even each other out. You'll love this. Well, let me try. Let me try. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh, so nice. Oh, chai boy, that's hot. <laughs> you need to drink quite a lot. It's nice. Just, it's just enough, is it? You don't need more than that. It doesn't feel like it's going to be filling either. Like, it feels nice to undo. That's so lovely, isn't it? Yeah, really good. Good evening. It is just gone half past seven. We have just arrived at the Premier Inn at Edinburgh Airport, which is where we're actually going to stay tonight. Um, our flight's at 7am from Edinburgh Airport, so we're in the right place to be honest. Just want to check in about dinner. It was absolutely fantastic. The chicken ruby, which was the curry, it was like chicken thigh and it was just stunning. And then even the rice was like moist, hate that word, but like fluffy and just how, how can someone get boiled rice so perfect like don't know the service was incredible really really liked our waiter he was fantastic yep nuno 325 did a great job Is that that's name? what he's called on his receipt he was called nuno but oh um i was like oh i quite fancy a chai but i don't know whether to go normal or chocolate and he was like oh i like normal and i was like oh i don't know how i feel about chai i don't i don't drink tea or <laughs> Anyway, he was like, go chocolate. It was great, wasn't it? We yeah. shared it. It was yeah. brilliant as well. Give it a try. It was lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those bills that was going to be £57 or £97 because everything's quite cheap on the menu, isn't it? Yeah. But obviously it all adds up and we were £74, including a 12.5% tip. Which is absolutely fine. So I think it was meant to be 66 and then we ended up paying 74 That's a good value. Great. It was, I couldn't could not fault that place one i actually think it could be my favorite restaurant anyway 
Next up, sunglasses. So went into Gucci in Harvey Nicks and we kind of like walked past it and I was like, Lewis, there's sunglasses there. And I have Gucci's already and I actually love them. Anyway, I tried on like every pair of Gucci and I was like, I just, these make me not even like the Christian Dior ones anymore. And anyway, found the pair I liked. I took it up to the desk like I was in Primark to go and pay for them, didn't I? You did. And she was like, oh, just take a seat and uh, have a seat. I'll be with you shortly. And I was like, oh, God, where's the champagne? <laughs> <laughs> there was people there buying handbags and everything it was crazy i was like what's going on here anyway let me show you the sunglasses so gucci bag high stunning beautiful in green love that and then inside i've got this little green sock for the glasses case i thought like if the glasses case was too big you put your sunglasses in here but no this is this is a bag for the case Anyway, and then we've got, I love watching unbagging, unboxing and unbagging videos. And then this is a case. <laughs> How stunning is that? Anyway, these are the shapes like these Christian Dior ones that I wanted. And then they've also got the, like the gold bit at the side of the Celine ones that I liked. So this is like an all in one. I just thought they were so funky. I just thought they were a bit different because I don't have anything shaped like this already. You really like them, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I like them, yeah. Oh, so, so happy with them. And they were a hundred or at least a hundred pounds cheaper than the Dior ones. Mm. So yeah, really, yeah, really, really happy with these. I think they're gonna look great in Barcelona. Um, but yes, guys, that is it. Just a way to check in now. And then I've got fake tan to do. Just gonna shower, shave my legs, fake tan. I use Filter by Molly May. I really love that tan. I have heard that people don't like it, but I really like it. I'm gonna do that. And then we're just gonna go to sleep. We haven't had a nap today, so really, really feeling it. <laughs> it's pregnancy for you. Um, but yeah. If you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining us for a little day trip in Edinburgh. I feel like it's been a chatty one. I actually haven't shown you much at all. Um, but yeah, we'll see you guys in Barcelona. Say bye, Lewis. Bye, Lewis. <laughs> what a tick.